What's up guys, Simply Coco here and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my very first like, oop, got a little hair, uh, my very first like CC review. So I, I'm doing a lot of pre-recording and I don't know what order in which these videos are coming out, but I, I mentioned in one of my last videos, I think it was in the gymnast apartment, I mentioned that I was going to be doing a... Um, CC shopping video and a video reviewing some of Peacemaker's custom content. So today that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be looking at some of Peacemaker's custom content. Um, watching, I watch a lot of Devin Bumpkin and a lot of Deligracy and they're really big on custom content. And it got me, I'm kind of hooked on custom content now. I haven't done, I've done one custom content build on my channel. It's the Adobe Spanish Home, I think is the title of it. Um, so you can go check that out. I'll link it below if I remember. But um, I want to. I really, really want to do more now because custom content nowadays is just like A1. It's it's amazing. There's so many great. Um, there's so many great CC creators out there, and today, and I just want to start like giving them their props you know and giving them you know a spotlight here on my channel and just kind of do what I can you know to support them so that's what we're going to be doing today we're going to look at Peacemaker I just went on his I think Tumblr or Patreon I think it was Tumblr though and I downloaded a few of his things I think I downloaded three or four of his like CC packs um so we're going to be looking at some of those. And then later today, I'm actually going to be doing a full-on custom content shopping video. Um, obviously, the, the two videos won't get posted on the same day. But hopefully you're excited to see that so we can look at some uh, together and just go shopping. And then that way, I, I, I like... I, 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 I <laughs> I like uh, custom content shopping videos because then that allows other simmers out there that want to use custom content that allows you to see where I'm getting the custom content from so that you can like go and look for some yourself. Um, because when I first started like looking for the custom content, I had to go back to like Devin's videos or Deligracy's videos to like see the, the people that they mentioned to even know where to start. <laughs> I mean, you could just go to Google and type in like custom content for The Sims 4, Max's Match custom content for The Sims 4, because everything that I'm gonna look at is gonna be Max's Match. I'm not gonna look at any alpha just because I don't like how it looks in the game. Those creators are just as talented, um, but I just, I like the Max's Match uh, content better. And if you don't know the difference, uh, Max's Match is stuff that looks like it belongs in The Sims 4. So The Sims 4 is like under Maxis. So like everything that's, all the objects in The Sims 4 are Maxis objects. So Maxis match custom content is, is custom content that looks like it could have been made by The Sims 4 team or Maxis. Um, alpha content is everything else. <laughs> so like, um, if you have like Harry Potter custom content of a like of like a Dementor or I don't know <laughs> something like that, it's not gonna be Max's match. It's gonna look like kind of like a IMVU if you remember that kind of simula. If you remember that simulation game, it kind of looks like that. Uh, I when I think of Alpha CC, I think of IMVU. But anyway, this intro has been way too long. I've been talking for four minutes, so. If you didn't already fast forward to me looking at the custom content, let's hop into game and do that now. Okay guys, here we are uh, in game. So we're gonna start with these two packs because they're pretty small packs. They're just, uh, they're just couches. Uh, everything here was done by Peacemaker. He is a custom content, Max's Match custom content creator for The Sims 4, if you didn't know. Um, when I say for The Sims 4, I just mean he makes his his he just makes his custom content for the sims 4 he's not employed by ea or the sims 4 um so yeah let's just go through this so i really really like this couch it gives me very it reminds me of the new couches we got with the paranormal stuff pack 
So that's what really drove me to these because I like how they remind me of those couches, but they don't have like throw pillows on it. So if I were to make a living room out of this and I wanted to use two of these, I could use two of them and then there not be the same throw pillows and throw blankets on both. You know what I'm saying? Um, because that's one thing I don't like about Sims, the Sims 4 content is like, there's like shelving units that have all the same clutter on it. So if you want to use more than one, you, you can, but it just looks funny because it all has the same stuff on it. But this is just a smaller pack, a little like contemporary couch pack. It's titled, yeah, it's, it's the Phoebe, it's the, yeah, Phoebe, I think is how you say that, the Phoebe sofa set. And once I get, once I'm done, I don't know what she's doing. Once I'm done going through everything, I'll show you his actual Tumblr page. And I'll show you where you can find all of this uh, custom content. And I'll also link it in the description if I remember. But if I don't remember, I, I would have shown you in the video. Um, but as far as swatches, we have a plethora of colors. And it kind of looks like some of the colors even have a texture. So like on this gray color, there's kind of like a texture to it. And I really enjoy that. Uh, there's a darker gray, which has some texture in it as well. Black. I'm not going to click through in all of them, but just that's another great thing about custom content. They always come with a lot of swatches and we, when we love that, we love that. I don't know why it's so hard for the Sims team to, for the Sims team to give us this many swatches with an object. Maybe, I wonder if, I wonder if each swatch of an object counts as a new object. Does that make sense? Maybe, I don't know. Uh, but sorry if you can hear the pups. So yeah, this pack, Phoebe sofa set, just comes with these three sofas. So we love that, we love that. Now let's move on to the next sofa set. So this one is called the Mo Moku. It's either Moku or Maku seating suite. Uh, maybe, yeah, Maku, Maku, Moku. If you know how to pronounce it, let me know. Um, this is very, this is very modern. I would imagine this being like in a young couple's apartment. Not really anything not really for someone that's like older and you know in a family home with a bunch of kids I imagine this being in like a young adult's apartment um maybe their first set of furniture they've ever gotten very modern very I like how it's like poofy as well uh not that not that you couldn't put this in a modern home uh I mean in a regular old family home I just it just doesn't give me that vibe. But we have a bigger sofa, so a three tile sofa, and then a love seat, and then this one seater as well. And then you have these, which are kind of like, what is it technically called? It's called a, it's a lounge. So this is like a lounge um, chair. So I would imagine this being in like, not necessarily the living room, but like a hallway or something um, and then here's like an ottoman that gets matched with that and I kind of like what I just did where I did this and kind of put them together it clips a little bit in the middle but if you like just moved it out a little bit you could kind of make like a little day bed kind of situation I don't know <laughs> I just think it's cute um, and then obviously I'm sure this comes in this Navy swatch and you could use this in the living room. You could probably use it as like, not necessarily a coffee. You know how some Ottomans are used as coffee tables. You could do that, something like that. Um, yeah, really like this. I love how modern it is. And it's still very Max's match. Like, I don't think the Sims would ever make something like this, but it looks like they did. Like, even with what, I don't, I, I would assume these are, like, metal bars. Like, it's just, it's just very, very well made. Don't really have much else to say about these other than I really like them. But me personally, 
I would only use them in, like I said, probably like a young adult apartment or like an ultra, like an ultra modern uh, home for like a rich person or something. Because like, like if you used it in all black or all white, you could make it really, if you use it in all black or all white, you could make it look really luxurious. Um, but yeah. So the next pack we're going to look at, I'm going to look at this one first because this one has a lot of stuff. So this one is his Oasis. Let me look. This is his Oasis Chic Living Pack. And his description for it is take the inside out. So this is for like a backyard um, or like a, maybe even a sunroom. It doesn't even necessarily... Hold on, guys. Something's... Daisy is acting crazy, and I, it's probably because the puppies are crying, so just give me a minute. Okay, guys, sorry about that. I don't know how much of the crying you heard, but Daisy was, like, at the front door trying to get out. Like, <laughs> I, I think she's tired of the puppies just like I am. But, um, yeah, so his description for this is, like, take the inside out. So you could use this in, like, a backyard, or it doesn't even have to be a backyard. It could be in, like, a sunroom or yeah a sunroom basically or like a conservatory that's attached to the kitchen which a sunroom <laughs> but yeah so let's look at these objects so this is a fire pit which i assume some of these objects will clip to it maybe not okay they're not because some of the fire the i cannot speak the fire the fire pits in the sims like chairs will clip to them but these aren't so I, i'm sure there's a reason for that maybe it's maybe this is just decorative maybe it doesn't actually make a fire i, I mean i'm sure it does i don't know why it wouldn't but uh for some reason things aren't clipping to it because if we I'm sure you know what I'm talking about, but just for reference, like, what is this? New. No. New. No. I need a fire pit. I need a fire pit. <laughs> I'll probably just cut this out. Okay, so here's a Sims 4 fire pit, and if you take a chair, like, see how they clip to it? That's what I was expecting this to do, but it doesn't. Um, I don't know why. I'm sure that's just a choice he made, but, yeah. Okay, so that's that. So this is the coffee, like, a coffee table that comes with the pack. We love that. Let me move that out the way. <laughs> uh, I, it's like a little wicker basket kind of thing. Um, or woven. A woven coffee table is probably a better word. So, like, you can make these in real life. So, like, you would get a tire. Like, a, a big tire. <laughs> and then you would put this, like, wood panel on top of it. And then you would just hot glue or whatever. Just wrap it in like a braided string, not string, but like a braided rope. And then you could like make something like this yourself at home in real life. And then this is like, a, it's a light. Like, I think, I don't know what the animation on it looks like. Excuse me. I don't know what the animation on it looks like, but I assume it's like a fire. So we love that. And then we have this little ottoman, which is also woven. Comes in all the same uh i can't there we go it comes in all the same swatches we love the plethora of swatches this is actually a coffee table i mean a end table i really like how small it is when we get to the next uh pack like actually a lot of for the, or for the two packs out of the two packs that had coffee tables in them they were both this small and I like how they're, I like it. I like how they're really small. And then we get to the seating. So we have this big fella, which I really, really like. Um, 
I really, really like this. I can just imagine this being like in the corner of a garden surrounded by a plethora of plants. Um, and then we have this single one, which of course comes in all the same swatches as everything else. That's another good thing about custom content creators. Whenever they make a CC pack, everything has the same swatches. And I don't know why EA doesn't do that. Um, then we have this two seater. So the two seaters are technically like called love seats. So we have that. And then as you can see, the throw pillows are separate and Peacemaker actually does that a lot. He will make separate, um, he'll make separate throw pillows and stuff like that, that you kind of add on top of his, uh, his his objects so if you go watch deligracy's recent video i think no that was by sixum never mind but peacemaker does it too well he has um different things the only thing i don't like is the patterns on the pillows look more like uh alpha custom content and i think that's just a thing with like i think that's just a thing whenever it comes to cc throw pillows and throw blankets and stuff i think they're all gonna always look like alpha custom content because there's no source material like there's no there's no throw pillows there's no just throw pillows or throw blankets in the game so like like what's the best way to <laughs> there's not already throw pillows in the sims 4 so they don't have like a source there's no source material for them to go and make it. So, like, they can't take an already Maxis throw pillow and then just make their own designs for it because there is not one. So, I feel like custom content throw pillows and stuff all kind of look uh, Alpha CC, which is why I don't really use them when I do use CC. But I do like the option of having them. Uh, and then we have this bigger one, comes in the same swatches, really, really like it. And then we have another lounge uh, version of it as well. And then this pack came with some very nice plants. So this is a fern. I love this fern. I love how everything is very, is is this like wicker basket kind of feel, the woven, the wovenness. Then we have this one, which, see, this this flower is a pre-existing flower in the game. It's, I think, it's either the Jungle Adventure one or the Island Living one, and then they just put it in their own basket. So since there's not any, since there's not already pillows in the game, they don't really have, you know, they have to start from scratch when it comes to stuff like that. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's hard to make throw pillows look max, Max's match. I don't know. And then we have, if you know, let me know, but I don't know. Then we have this one. This plant, I think, I don't, maybe they completely made that one themselves, but it kind of looks like the one from uh, Snowy Escape, but I don't know when this custom content pack came out. It may have come out before Snowy Escape, but I really like that plant. And then see, these trees are actually from Jungle uh, Island Living, but they put it in their own little wicker basket. So we love that. And I'm going to use these plants a lot when I use this custom content. And then it comes with this pergola, which is very large. With all pergolas, even the ones that come with the Sims, I tend to always size them down. I just feel like it's a more reasonable size. Uh, the only reason I left it its actual size was for you guys to see and because the pack also came with this lamp. I think it might be a heat lamp. Oh, it's a chic living yeah i think it's a heat lamp which is why it goes outside so and when i sized down the pergola it the heat lamp kind of clipped into it so yeah so that's that pack we love we love we love and then we get to the last one hopefully i can do this within 10 minutes because i didn't want this video to be too long but this pack was jam stuffed with a lot so when I when I go through this pack, I'm going to kind of stage it as a room so that I can also get a screenshot when we're done. Um, so yeah, this is the Hamptons Hideaway. Yeah, Hamptons Hideaway pack. And this is everything that comes in it. It's so much stuff. So let's just start going through. 
So we have this couch, which is the three seater. And then it comes in, he kind of does the, uh, the same swatches throughout all of his packs, which is great because that means all of his packs will kind of work together. And I love this swatch because of that pattern. Look at that, not the pattern, but the texture. I love that. I love, love, love that texture. Oh, this is the two seater. That texture is just great. And then this is a throw pillow, but I have it on the one, the one, um, the one seater. I don't know what you'd call that. The, it's not a love seat. What do you call this? Uh, it's just, it's just a chair. It's just a chair. <laughs> it's just a chair. So we have that with the throw pillow. So that throw pillow comes with the pack. Then we also have this one. I'm going to leave this. Do I want to leave it white? It's, I kind of want to leave them all white just because it, it matches with the um, wallpaper and stuff in the background that we have. So we love that. And then this is like, um, this is an ottoman. <laughs> This is an ottoman, so we're going to put that behind there. Uh, comes in all the same swatches. Everything comes in all of the same swatches, so I'm not going to really go through the swatches. And then we have the coffee table. I don't think this pack came with a rug. Let me go look. I feel like, I feel like this should have came with a rug. So let me look. I don't think it did though. So we're gonna hide Maxis and show custom content. No, all of these rugs came from other custom content packs. So no, this this pack did not come with a rug. Come on. But this is the coffee table. And then on the coffee table, we just have some clutter. So we have a clock, which I'm gonna move over there. Oh my goodness, sorry about the puppies. But we have a clock, and then this box is, is, I think it's called just Box of Mysteries. So it's literally just a box. Anything could go in it uh, in real life, but your Sims can't actually open it. And then we have this, which I think is one of those like crystal, one of those like crystal rocks. I think that's what it is. We're going to put it on the bookshelf. I think it's one of those like crystal rocks. And then we have an orchid. I don't know why we don't already have orchids in the game. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. And I'm gonna stick it in the corner instead of putting it on the coffee table. Um, I think, maybe not. It's kind of large. <laughs> but I, yeah, I love it. Then we have this lamp. I love the mixture of like, I can't really tell the style of this. I would say it's more contemporary style furniture, but then you have like this industrial, oh, excuse me. Then you have this like industrial looking lamp, which I absolutely love. I love the swatches on it too. How it's like all wood tones. I love that. I love that, how it's all wood tones. But I, I love that. Uh, yeah, I just, I love that. <laughs> and then we have this uh, console table, which we're going to put here. Oh, hello. And then this console table matches the lamp with the, as far as like the industrial looking legs. And then we just have more clutter on that. So I'm going to move the books over there. We have this plate, which is really nice. Like if, oh, if you look at the texture closely it's so nice like look at that i wonder what the other swatches look like oh that's that's nice look at those textures that is absolutely amazing and then we have this it's like a it looks like a wind turbine yeah it looks like a wind turbine it comes in a few other swatches as well i like this i like it i like how it's like rusty and we need to bring some other colors into this anyway and then, oh, here's the other end table. See how little it is? That's what I was saying. Like, his end tables are very small. But I don't mind it. And then here's the other, the, like, the actual table lamp that comes with the pack. Comes in the same, oh, not the same swatches. Okay, so we kind of have, like, a copper bottom. 
okay. But I'm actually gonna size it down. Just it's 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 very large. <laughs> it's very large. I'm gonna stick that there. Okay, and then over here we have a fireplace. And then the candles on top of it as well. So these change the color of the candle. The um, the vase is actually glass, so we love that. And then the fireplace comes in uh, the same swatches as well, which I enjoy. I don't know why you would ever have like a, maybe that one I could see in someone's house, but like that kind of pink. Like the more, the more crazy colors, like I, I don't really, know what kind of house would have that <laughs> unless you just chose to paint it that way but the fireplace itself is very nice very nice I love this detail out in the front and the brick behind it um, this mirror came with the pack same all the same swatches as everything else it also has the wood tone swatches this bookcase and I and see this is what the sims team needs to do this bookcase doesn't all of this is clutter. None of that comes on the bookcase. So you have to put that stuff on the bookcase. So I wish that's what the Sims team did. I wish they would um, make objects like this and then the bookcases be empty and then you put the books on there and that's how your Sims get books. And then that way, if I wanted to use two of these right next to each other for whatever reason, they wouldn't have the same clutter on them. Um, but let's look at the clutter. So we also have these books. I assume they work as if they're actual bookcases. Like I think your Sims can get books from them and then they just come in a few neutral swatches. I wish they would have had colorful swatches, but beggars can't be choosers. Um, and then we have this leaning mirror comes in all the same swatches, the colorful ones and the neutral tones. Then we have this second console table which I assume comes in all the same swatches. Ooh, that's really pretty. And then we have this boat, which comes in a few swatches. And then we have this set of three birds, which also comes in the pretty, pretty swatches. I like that. That would look, that would be something else that would look good on top of the mantle. Or we can even put them, um, we can even put them on the bookcase. Where's the last one? Yeah, we could even put them on the bookcase and then put some more books up there and it'll look really cute when I go to stage it. Then we have these pictures, um, which there's quite a few. Like I put them I put them in like a, what do you call this? I don't know what you call that, like a gallery wall. But I think, it, I think they're the same. Okay, each color has the same. So this is a black frame, which has all of these different patterns it looks like coral like a some type of coral in from the ocean so the black this is the black frame and it has all of these patterns and then the white frame has all the same patterns the dark brown frame and then the light frame so it's just four different color swatches with two four six eight with ten different variants of what can be in the frame um so I think that's everything from this pack. This is probably my favorite out of all the ones I've downloaded so far. And then next would be this one. And then probably this one and then this one. Obviously these two are last because they just are couches. But um, yeah, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you just where I got all of this from. Um, and yeah, that's it. If you have any other questions, definitely drop them down in the comments. Or if I didn't say, this is my first time doing a video like this. So if I didn't say something that you want me to mention um, in the next the next time I do a custom content creator spotlight, um, just let me know down in the comments. Like if I didn't, I don't know, <laughs> if I didn't say like how many objects were in the pack or if you want me to go through every single swatch or if you want me to get a better idea of the type of style it is. Like just any extra info that you want me to include in these type of videos that I didn't include in this one, let me know and I will definitely start implementing that because I do want to add these types of videos to my channel just because there's so much custom content out there and I want to support them and use the custom content. So let's hop over to the good old World Wide Web and I will show you where I got these. 
Okay, guys, so he, this is Peacemaker's Tumblr. It's titled Peace, Peace's Place. Um, I, literally, all you have to do is go to Google and type in Peacemaker Sims 4 CC or something like that, and you will, you'll find his uh, Tumblr. It'll be the first thing. So what I did was if you look here, you see downloads. You click downloads, and then he also has Sims 3 stuff. He has cast stuff. He has some lots. Um, but I went to the Sims 4 object downloads, and then it comes up with this whole list of all of his stuff. As you can see, there's so much, um, which is why I want to do more of these, because there's so much to go through. Um, but then you just, you get the pick of the litter. You get what, you can go to whatever you want, and then just download it and put it in your game. Uh, I'll do, later on, I'll do a... Uh, tutorial on how to add custom content into your game because I know that's something a lot of people um, need to know or need help with but as you can see we have the Moku or Maku seating suite right here and then the Oasis chic living one is there and then the Phoebe the Phoebe suite is there um, and then the Hamptons one, well, the Hamptons hideaway one was a little further down, so I won't try to find that one. So let's just click on the Oasis Sheep Living, and then it he has like a little promotional thing. It, then here he shows you all the items that's in the pack, and then to download, you usually have to scroll all the way down. A separated file is just every every object is going to be a separate thing. Um, but merged, you that's just all of it in one. Instead of having to individually place all of them into your mod folder, you just place the merge file and everything's in there. But I'll do a tutorial on that later. But that's pretty much it, you guys. So that's how you can find Peacemaker's um, custom content. He also has a Twitter. Um, just search Peacemaker, and I'm pretty sure you'll find him. But other than that... Like I said, if you have anything that I didn't include in this video that you want me to start including um, in videos like this, just certain information or things that you want to know about the custom content, let me know and I'll start implementing that. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll always respond to your comments. And please hit that notification bell. That way you know exactly when I post my next video, exactly when I post it. And I will see you all then. Bye, guys.